I'd say currently most of the identification is actually when the patient presents to an office, meaning they come in noticing their vision is a little blurry or perhaps they have a, a yearly routine examination. But even then, if you talk about Neely studies and others we're going to look at, 25% of the patients were in this one study that were looked at were not shown to have a diagnosis at the time of presentation. So even with the routine visits, even what we're doing today, we're not picking up on this disease. I, I think the identification of dry AMD, particularly in those at-risk patients, is absolutely critical. Uh, essential to this is a dilated fundoscopic examination. I think that is the starting point.